DHS secretary is reportedly looking to finish some gaps in the southern border. How does that fit with President Biden's day one executive order to stop border wall construction? Well, wall construction remains paused to the extent permitted by law. So some has already been funded through uh, congressional uh, authorization and, and funding allocation. Uh, but as agencies uh, develop for a plan, uh, it's paused while agencies are developing a, developing a plan for the president on the management of the federal funds. When the administration took office, as you referenced, funds had been diverted from congressionally appropriated military construction projects uh, and other appropriated purposes toward building the wall. And wall construction was being challenged in multiple lawsuits, in, for, for much of the wall, I should say, not all of it, by plaintiffs who allege serious environmental and safety issues. Under those circumstances, uh, federal agencies are continuing to review wall contracts and develop a plan to submit to the president soon. It is, it is paused. Uh, there is uh, some limited construction that has been funded and allocated for, but it is uh, otherwise paused. And then the FBI keeps a watch list with information about people who are known or reasonably suspected of being involved in terror activities. Two people on it from Yemen have been apprehended at the border. How concerned is President Biden about terrorists possibly trying to take advantage of gaps in the border to get in and kill Americans? Well, first let me convey that uh, these type of incidents are very uncommon. Uh, and CBP and DHS can speak more to uh, the timeline uh, and the specifics, of course, in, in these particular cases and encounters. But encounters of known and suspected terrorists are very uncommon. Uh, they do underscore the importance of the critical work that is done on a daily basis to vet those at the border. DHS works uh, not just in, at the border, uh, as you know, but also with international partners to share intelligence and other information, including to prevent individuals on certain watch lists from entering the United States. They adjudicate individuals encountered at and between ports of entry against several classified and unclassified databases. So while this is rare, this is a reflection of them doing their jobs. Do you think you visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> but um, I have before and I'm sure I will again. Yeah. How do you realistically and physically keep these families from coming to the U.S. when things will not get better in their countries right away? Well, I, I, I can't guarantee that, but I know, you know, that old thing, the journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. You know as well as I do. You cover it. You have serious, it's not like somebody sitting on a hand hewn table in Guatemala, I mean, in, uh, in, in somewhere in Mexico or in, in Guadalupe saying, I got a great idea. Let's sell everything we have. Give it to a coyote. Have them take our kids across the border into a desert where they don't speak the language. Won't that be fun? Let's go. That's not how it happens. People don't want to leave. And then on immigration, does FEMA's arrival at the border mean that the administration feels what is happening down at the border is a disaster? I know that we always get into the fun of labels around here, but I would say our focus is on solutions, and this is one of the steps that the president felt would help uh, a, not become a final solution, but help expedite processing, help ensure that uh, people who are coming across the border are have access to health and medical care. Clearly, the numbers are enormous. This is a big challenge, uh, and it certainly is a reflection of using every lever of the federal government to help address that. Even though specifically their mission is helping people before, during, and after disasters. We've heard you say that it's a problem, that it's a challenge. Is it now a disaster? I appreciate the opportunity. I do like your mask. Um, but I will say that um, FEMA is uh, there to help uh, ensure that the people who are at the border, who are coming across the border, uh, have access to uh, can to HHS and ORR shelters, that we can swiftly place them with vetted families. They're, they're playing a number of roles uh, there uh, to address what we feel is a significant problem and a significant challenge. And I think we haven't, uh, we haven't uh, step, been hiding about that. And then just a quick final one. Uh, DHS said that the FEMA plan for 90 days would be to receive shelter and transfer unaccompanied children. Does that mean that the federal government now is moving beyond the message from the last couple weeks, which was now is not the time to come? 
No, we are cons we are we are we are doing both, um, and uh, it's a complicated problem, no doubt about it. We are sending the message clearly in the region. Now is not the time to come, but also we want to ensure that people are treated with humanity, uh, who are children, who are unaccompanied children. Uh, that's who we are as a country, and so we are doing both.